Hey, how's it going, guys? For today's video, we are going to start our 12 0 BR run for either King Felix or Willie McCovey. Both of them are really good cards, and realistically, the one that I do truly want is King Felix. Looking at his stats, he's really good, and even looking over at Daddy Lee's, his worst control on any pitch was 82 or 83, if I'm not mistaken, and that was on his slider. When looking at King Felix's card, we got 90 hits per nine, 96 Ks per nine. That could be a little bit better, but realistically, because of his pitching repertoire and his velocity on all his pitches, and especially control, and that's something that I do desperately need, He's got 95 mile per hour sinker, which realistically means he could get it up to 97, maybe 98, 83 mile per hour changeup, a fastball that can definitely top out at 100, a sweeping curve of 80, and a slider of 89. If we end up getting Willie McCovey, again, he's actually a really good card. He's basically the lefty Frank Thomas, but if we get him, we're definitely going to sell him just to get Felix because I, I can't ever justify taking out Frank. He's just too good. For our first round, we get our choices between Michael Young, Slaughter, and Goose. If I didn't really want to try out Michael Young, and he could also play every spot in the infield, including shortstop, I would go Goose. But again, he is a card that I really want to try and maybe even use at some point for my ranked seasons and do a debut. We're going to go ahead and choose Michael Young and see how good he really does do on All-Star. This is one of the best bronze rounds i've had in a while simply because we get our choice of ryan Schimpf. he's a second baseman yeah his contact is lacking and so is his vision and his fielding isn't that great but he's got the ultimate pop and he's an angels legend from last year he's gonna be really good and for all-star he should do really well we are off to a really good start we have a choice between eddie murray and bruce Suter. I'm going to lean Eddie Murray here because Suter, as he does have these really good pitches, I just don't feel like it translates well on All-Star. And Eddie Murray is a switch hitter, and he's going to hit tanks. Gold round, you could go Jim Edmonds, but I'm going to play it safe and make sure we get one lefty who's going to be really solid and should be able to get righties out as well. So we're going to go Tony Watson. Two glitchy bronze rounds in a row. We first got Ryan Schimpf, and now we're going to go ahead and get Matt Davidson. Obviously, I hope for matt davidson we end up getting like miguel sano or somebody who can end up playing third a little bit better and has more pop but at you know worst case scenario if he is our third baseman i'm still really happy about it what do you do here you have your choices between mezzarocco and otani and otani is up plus 14 on righties today so he's gonna have over a hundred power but you also do have a really good option behind the plate my angel bias is telling me to go Otani, especially because he could be glitchy as hell as a leadoff batter. But the smart pick is still going to be Mezzarocco. It's hard to find a good catcher. His fielding isn't bad. It's definitely not great. But you got you just you have to go Mezzarocco. It's hard to find a catcher like him. We haven't even really got to our bullpen yet. We've only chose Tony Watson, but this Jay Bruce card is another again glitchy card in the bronze round he's up plus six on righty so he's gonna have 89 pop even if he sees a lefty 70 hopefully we don't have to use him in the outfield but again if we do end up using him he's not gonna be terrible at all in this round we actually end up getting a pick that i feel like we definitely needed we're gonna go ahead and use moustakis over davidson he's up on righties today plus four and even against lefties, this card, because of his swing, is really good. Hopefully, in our diamond or his next silver round, we end up getting an outfielder to replace Albert Almora Jr. In our diamond round, we end up getting a good outfielder in Albert Pujols. Again, his defense isn't tremendous, but I think we're going to use Pujols over Santana for that pop because I think their defense is relatively the same. The way our team is stacking up today, we got Eddie Murray leading off, Michael Young hitting in the two-hole, then Jay Bruce, then Pujols, Moustakis, Mezzarocco, Schimpf, and Dyson. The reason why I'm using Dyson is our outfield is pretty bad, and we need somebody who's going to cover ground. And worst comes to worst, if it's a you know tight situation or we need some guaranteed runs, and they have a lefty in against Draw Dyson, I am going to bring out Domingo Santana, who can still play center field. His defense will not be anywhere near as good as Dyson's, but again, if we need that offense, it's there. When it comes to our bullpen, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. We don't have any super good diamonds or the elite golds, but we do have some good golds and good silvers. We have Tony Watson, Taylor Rogers, Michael Givens, Ottavino, Blake Parker, and if needed, both these pitchers are very usable. Lee Smith and Junior are going to be really good if it comes down to a tight game. 
All right, so our first opponent for today is the Arizona Lightning, Nick G. Money. He's got Joe Morgan, Jason Kendall, the Diamond, Corey Seager, Carnacion. He's got a good team through the first four batters, and then the next five, I'm not really worried about. It depends who's on his bench, but he should have some actually pretty good bullpen pieces considering how his offense is stacked. I'm almost okay with doing this unintentional walk to Joe Morgan. We're trying to throw some good pitches. We hung the change up a little bit, but we do get away with it as I believe that is Albert Pujols in left. We make the catch. O2 the cow. I want to see if we can hit him with that good sinker up and in. We just miss. We're going to go and throw a change up low and in the dirt. Hopefully that's going to be in the strike zone. We hung it. It's a base hit. First pitch to Seager. We're going to go ahead and attack him with the sinker. See if he's ready for it. He was not ready for the sinker up and in. We get the weak fly out in the infield. Now we have to face Edwin Encarnacion, and this is not going to be fun. We got past our opponent's scary part of the lineup. We're going to go right back to that pitch that got him last time, and it gets him again. The sinker inside. Weak ground ball to Eddie Murray. We're out of the inning. Now it's our turn to do some damage. Murray smokes it to center. Please get down. That's going to be a line out. Not a good start, but line outs will happen. It's all right. So on 3-0, he threw a four seam down the middle. Next 3-0 count, I know what I'm looking for. Are we going to hit into another line out? We do not. We were a little bit late. I wasn't expecting that cutter upstairs. We do get the hit, though. Jay Bruce has 89 pop on right today. We should be going deep as long as we square it up. Bruce, baby. That is absolutely disgusting disgustingly hammered an absolute moonshot tank from jay bruce we are now up two to zero pools gets into one back-to-back -back shots from Pujols and jay bruce we're now up three to zero continue the damage hopefully our team is loaded with power we smoked that one by the first baseman i was so far out in front of that we got lucky mezzi baby gets us another home run we are now up five to zero in the first and this is what i'm talking about why you want to load your team with power when you square things up they go ah shimp rolls that over we just got on top of that all right we we are not hurting for offense right now so we're gonna go ahead and use gerard dyson he's gonna smoke it as well to the right fielder so we did have two lineups that inning but we also did get five runs nothing to complain about with three righties up for our opponent this inning we're gonna go ahead and lean on adam Ottavino now tony watson's day is over we're gonna see if Ottavino can continue to shut down our opponent as he throws a two-seamer over the plate but he does look like he just missed it one down we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get him out in front on this cutter that's gonna be a beautiful pitch and realistically that's just more of a beautiful hit we hit our spot he sat back on that cutter drove it the other way right, if he was on the cutter we need to see if he's gonna be on the two seam and that is off our pitcher that is gonna be a base hit all right we need to try and get this double play and that is a good piece of hitting he sat back he drove that two seam now i remember why i don't usually choose out i feel like he doesn't have that out pitch that's a good pitch that's a good pitch and he fouls it off i know he wants that fastball and that was just such a good pitch i hate these very early swing foul tips that flailing animation should mean you do not get a chance to foul tip it he's gonna be safe at first on the strikeout all right this is rough we're even when we're getting strikeouts we're not even getting the out in and of itself we give up another base hit we're gonna go right back to it roll this up eddie murray 44 speed we don't have to worry about a thing that is going to be the double play we needed to get out of the inning all right michael young will he give us one on the board and he does a check swing well that's just the inning to forget we're going to go ahead and make sure our pitching is on point with Blake Parker, I do like his pitching repertoire. He's got a good splitter. He's got a good two-seamer. His two-seam has movement. It's not like it's going to overpower somebody, but it will make him line out, apparently. 2-2 two, two the count. He's constantly early. We're going to throw a splitter. He actually sat back enough, but I don't think he got all of it. Jay Bruce with his common fielding, jogging slowly to the ball, gets the out. We're at our opponent's weak end of the lineup. We do jam him, but is Jay Bruce with that scarecrow animation is not going to get there? That's the one downside to having a guy like him. Great bat, but terrible defense. He allows this inning to continue. All right, no biggie. We just need to throw some good pitches, get him to roll over, keep it in the infield because our outfield defensively is rough. That is perfect. Our opponent is very deliberate with starting the game, but thankfully, after sitting at that screen for a little bit, we finally get it. Our opponent is going to be the Honolulu Ducks TTV Fish. He has a pretty damn good team. D. Gordon, Brooks Robinson, Gary Sanchez, Muncie. 
He's got a team offensively that I wish I had, but I know his bullpen's going to be pretty bad because all his diamonds and golds were in his batting lineup. Murray leads us off. That should be an absolute missile on out. And I was going to say, with that new wall and they actually implemented it in the game, that was going to be a home run no matter what. We've already seen Strope one time today. Michael Young, you need to continue the damage. Michael Young does just that. The very next pitch, back-to-back -back home runs on back-to-back -back pitches. All right, Pujols, you're at your home stadium right now, buddy. At his home stadium, he's going to drive it well to right. Is it going to get out? It ends up getting out. Probably about a 355-foot home run. We'll take it. Mook with a absolute bomb. God, I wish we signed him. Santana gets into one, but that was honestly too far inside. Bad pitch selection by me. We end up hitting it hard, but to the left fielder. We're done. We're out of the inning, but we did get four. First pitch out is important here. Are we going to get it? He's early. He's constantly out in front of everything. I feel like a four-seam upstairs may get him to pop out and wow one two the count we're gonna throw this loopy curveball in for strike three we get two strikeouts this inning can we continue it our opponent is clearly looking fastball i want to do my best to avoid throwing him that pitch but right now you know what i'm gonna throw a four seam away or by away i mean up and a little bit away but jay bruce this time doesn't get the scarecrow animation matt davidson we need to be a little bit more selective his pci isn't as big so we need to make sure we get a pitch to drive we did just that got that pitch smoke it to center but we didn't get underneath it enough jesus what what a terrible at bat michael young gets a pitch to hit and just like last game in the second inning we not we don't even get a hit we end up getting three straight outs. I'm actually going to go ahead and challenge him with the two seam inside. See how well he handles it. He does not. I think we finally got him to sit off speed and we chose the right time to throw it. 2-2 two, two the count. We're going to try and get him with the same exact pitch. But that ends up over the plate. He just misses it with Gary. We get the fly ball to left field. Should be no problem for pool holes as he puts it away. 0-2. Oh, I want to try and throw this back foot slider. That should be a good one. It is a good one. Didn't necessarily get to the back foot but nonetheless it gets us another strikeout pool holes please tell me you got into one he he's not running to the ball no that's a fly out oh what a bait all right mook show us why you should have been signed to the angels that ew, dude these line outs oh my god our opponent has austin meadows we're not gonna play around we're gonna throw a sinker up and in hopefully that doesn't fall down it yeah, even if it did we would have been all right because he was sending his runner back to first with d gordon being our opponent's next batter we're gonna go ahead and leave in tony watson he is stealing he should be gunned it looks like we have him by a lot oh two we're gonna throw that sinker in a perfect spot freezes him enough to get a late swing eddie murray is gonna be there realistically in this game as well we could have had four player of the games eddie murray one for two michael young one for two pools one for two and moustakis one for two all with the same exact stat lines a home run and rbi they all hit solo shots and those were our only hits we're gonna go ahead and play one more game see if we get to three and oh and then next video if i do get to ten and oh we'll do the next two games to see if we go 12 and 0 our opponent has that new willie mccovey oh my god this dude's team is stacked in the top four so our opponent has gone 12 and 0 before as you can see by his banner he's got willie mccovey up we're gonna see if we can get him to chase some bad pitches three to the count i'm gonna see if we can get him to get himself out if we walk him we walk him slider inside that's gonna miss that actually ends up being a perfect pitch for a dot he was out in front of the first slider we threw we're gonna throw it again he drives it the other way so he was definitely he might be picking up on what i was trying to do after that first that bat which was just try and hit him with off speed see what he does i want to see if he can turn on the pitch as well looks like not that good he didn't actually pull it he ends up smoking it to center he actually full-blown sends his runner to third if we threw to third we would have hosed him so our opponent was just late on that fastball so that's something to keep in mind that he is not necessarily hitting that inside fastball as well as he should eddie mary is a god come on bud we get a pitch to drive that may not be out of here but that's at least a double oh god man we're gonna push it 44 speed thank god jim edmonds doesn't have a gun we end up getting the double with that 44 speed young drives it the other way 
damn it man we need it in this game right now i need everything to go my way no line outs we need to make sure we are driving pitches bruce gets into that one Jay Bruce hitting another tank for us, a much needed one. Puts us up on the board and ahead 2-0. to zero. Poo holes, drives it down the line. That should be another double, assuming he doesn't get a good animation off the wall. I know Joey Bats has a gun. He ends up gunning it in, but we do just beat that one as well for a double. Mook drives it through the hole. It's now going to be first and third, one down. Anything that we can do to avoid the double play and get that run in is what we need. Mezzarocco's all over that one. He's going to drive it to center. Jim Edmonds doesn't have a gun. 58 speed should be able to get home just fine. And that's what is going to happen. We are now up 3-0. to zero. Schimpf drives it the other way. That's going to be another line out. He went with that pitch. We did what we could. Two line outs in the inning. Hopefully, we can hold our opponent down again. We missed our spot. Of course, he's going to drive it. I need to make sure. I know he's going to hit. I know he's going to hit. So, we need to make sure we hit our spots. All right, Tony, that is not a good pitch, but we do get the line out. And that's going to be a double play because I don't know what exactly he was doing. He must have thought it was going to get through. So some good pitches to Brandon Crawford. Slider ends up hanging a little bit, but it is Brandon Crawford. He doesn't have pop. That looks like that'll do more than just get us on. Maybe I actually think that's going to be a fly out with Edmund's butt cheeks up all up on that wall. This first out is going to be very important. We need to make sure we get it. And we throw a splitter over the heart of the plate for another lead off double. We need to get this first out right now. And we do. He's going to move his player over to third. But that's not really any of my worries. We now have to worry about Willie McCovey. We're going to play it pretty ballsy here. We're going to bring out the lefty and hopefully jam up Willie McCovey. And we did just that. He is going to score one run. But again, that's better than giving up a two-run shot. 1-1. One, one. I'm going to see if we could try and get him with this fastball inside. Surprise him. And we did just that. I was going to say, I feel like he's expecting us to throw a lot of off-speed. So I'm going to throw a pretty dangerous pitch. Because if, he, if he's looking for that fastball, it's going to get absolutely demolished. But he wasn't. We guessed right. So we end up going 3-0 on the day. Like I said, if we end up getting to 10-0... Our next video will be us going for 12 and 0. When it comes to our team, I don't think it's the best team that I've ever drafted. And when it comes to our bullpen, I don't think it's the best bullpen that I ever drafted. But as a whole, it's probably a pretty solid team. And this team should get us to 12 and 0 as long as we do and carry our weight offensively. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You guys have a good day. Thank you.